There we go. Looks like we are up now. Uh, yep, that's not gonna happen. Alrighty. There we go. Live on Twitch. Live on the YouTubes. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, so, we are back to our uh, legendary Mortal Empire run of Tarox for the Beastmen. So, if you haven't been here for this, uh, this is part two. Let me know if it's too loud, too quiet. I gotta get this dual streaming thing really figured out. But we had a really rough start. I haven't played this in a while, and we had a really rough start. But uh, we're doing really well now. We're ahead of the curve. We're a higher level than the turn that we're on, which is always a sign that things are going well. And uh, it's been fun. Uh, I think we are going to try to get some more of the Legendary Lords Confederated today. And I'm really thinking about going and attacking uh, Bellacor, which is a Chaos Lord, uh, who is kind of friendly with us. But, you know, he's the nearest one, and we're rampaging, so who cares? Uh, Warhammer does have mods. Yeah, I'm not using any of that. Uh, Evan, welcome back. Thank you for coming in, Evan. So, yeah, we're playing, like I said, uh, Tarox the Brass Bull, uh, Total War Warhammer 3, Immortal Empires, Legendary, Difficulty, all those buzzwords, keywords, whatever. Um, and it's gone okay. If you don't know Warhammer or don't know this game, I'll try to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it as much as I can. But if you have any questions, please let me know. And if I don't know the answer, hopefully someone else in chat will answer and we'll both learn it. So, like a bull in a shop of smashable things, we are. Yes, yes. Bellacor, Bellacor. All right, here we are. So uh, we just finished knocking out like Tarox's fifth faction that he's destroyed. Um, we have had the Dark Elves declare war on us, but that's going to pull us away from what we want to do. You love the Warhammer 3 streams? That's awesome. Yeah, I think you're watching these. I know they're not as popular, but I, I do have a lot of fun with it. Minoc, thank you for the lurk. We are back. We are back. Okay, so we are working on long campaigns this time. Um, and so for our long campaign, we need to destroy the humans and the oak of ages so we're headed that direction and there's two ways to get there uh that we can destroy things along the way which is what i want to do we can either go up through the northern like chaos waste and the cold uh, not quite the chaos waste but the cold we can fight uh people up through here come across norska into the north side of the empire lands or from where we are we can hit bellacor get some uh, experience and stuff there uh that's gonna anger norska as well but who cares and then after we take over the island of albion we just hit hitch a ride on a boat it's our own boat i'm not sure why i said hitch uh, and come over here and start attacking into the lands of order so usually i go through the donut so we can get the sword of cane sword of cane is a really good item for tarox it's good for almost everyone but especially for tarox but uh yeah i think i'm just playing it differently than i normally do i haven't played tarox in a couple years still let's play it differently i think i'm going after bellicor bellicor has some good defeat traits as well all right tarox I, can, I can't imagine like the beastman on a boat like this like the game snake where going back on your own path is detrimental uh no so you can the great thing about this is very sandboxy so if we weren't trying for the long victory i would probably just go over here and stomp all this stuff Will Tox find his sweeties or his weenies today? Maybe, maybe. All right, here we go. Out into the ocean. Yes, that's just the alerts from last time. There's this pirate group out here, which could be pretty deadly, actually. Oh God, I hope they don't attack him. The crew are restless. Level 35 Vampire Coast Lord. Freaking deck gunners. He's got depth guard. He's got a Necrofex Colossus, multiple carronades. Wouldn't that be really terrible? Wow. We might get screwed over there. Did miss the stream? Nope. Nope. Just starting. Um, so we get dread regardless if we win or lose. So we're basically gonna throw this army into the uh, into battles, and if they die, it doesn't matter. We still get stuff out of it. Oh, you hate the pirates? I do too. I think they might attack us, and that might screw our run completely. Oh, I was going to do a... um. No, no. I was wanting that hero to join. That's right. Man, I can't believe they just happen to be right there. Ah, oh, that sucks. Land folk are weak. That really sucks. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. It might set us back quite a bit. Check out the Beastman boat. 
Yeah, I'll have to look at the graphic. I don't think I've ever really looked at it. Uh, let's see. We can get speed, charge bonus, and melee attack and immune to psychology. Passive. Very good. Uh, we can research campaign movement 10% on all characters. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, man. I'm really worried about this. This could really suck. Um, is there anything we can grab that would help us? We have to do this fight. We already have this. And what a sheep thing we're rejoining. Hmm. The Infoco are weak. I'm menacing. Yeah, there's that boat. Alright, well, let's just see what happens, I guess. He's hearing the same random voice. <laughs> Pretty off. Awesome. Come melon. Shall we welcome in? Or you've been here. I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm re-welcoming you, but. Go on, Kiyami. They're at the end of the turn list, so we won't know. Yes! They left us alone! That's like a Christmas miracle, to be honest with you. Generally, if you're in attack range of those friggin' pirates and your army's weaker, they jump on you. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. He has no sailing stances. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So we're going to take attrition here no matter what. <laughs> Belakor is going to be like, what? Why? Why? Why, Tarox? Why? We're both creatures of chaos. Actually, he's going to be more like Belakor. Belakor. Just like saying his name. So we could uh, take this guy and run him into some Dark Elf armies and probably die. Or we could just go check out Lustria for no reason. Hmm. Let's go see what they are doing over here. Watching on YouTube and it's a different show. You're probably still watching the VOD from the RimWorld video, I'm guessing. It's a narwhal. The boat looks kind of like a narwhal. Yeah, you're right. Wait, it is a narwhal. I couldn't see the rest of the body. I've never noticed that. I have like several thousand hours in this series and have never noticed that the Beastman ship is a narwhal. Hmm. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know how I've never noticed that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, we can reset his movement so we're not in the ocean for very long. We're going to be losing momentum anyway. And I hate to... Oh, we're almost at Cataclysmic. Oh, we got to get to a battle quickly. There's a settlement over here. Let's do it. We're going to use three tokens, reset his movement. Christ. Does anyone know if there's a special herdstone at Albion's capital? I don't know. Never taken a beastman army off of land, didn't know either, with over a thousand hours. I've sailed to the donut several times, but you're not there very long, right? You hit the water and then you're basically one hop over. Beastman secret, yeah. Uh, X Vade, thank you for the 11 months. That's almost a full calendar year, for real. For real. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about any uh, special building. We're just gonna hit. Narwhals, narwhals. An affront to the gods. Wait, do we need to do that to hit it? it is not. Decisive, we'll take that. And we set up a herd snow over here. Thunderdome and one in the Empire. Sailing is pretty far. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, 
Yeah, I think my second favorite is probably Malagor. Malagor, which I think is who you're talking about. Thunder. It's not much of a Thunderdome anymore, though. Not as much like it was. They spread the stuff out there quite a bit. Well, I mean, Scarbrand's there now, too, right? So he can be a slight friend or an enemy, whichever. Uh, we got to the Cataclysmic Rampage. So it resets. So I guess it's good that we use that. Uh, what do we want here? Dread cost reduction for increasing capacity of Gorbel heroes. Hero rank plus five for Gorbels in all armies. That's pretty interesting because I was going pretty hero heavy. I usually don't, but I might. Come on, Christopher, welcome in. Same thing for Bray Shaman, for Wargore. And yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's see how it is. Screw it. I don't think I've ever made a big hero stack with, uh, with a Beastman. I usually get four total because there's a there's a research for getting four so we'll claim that uh and we'll claim this one all right cool nice. only 300 well wow. Well, Thunderdome, Scarbrand, Kimberly. It, yeah, but not as much as it used to be. That's kind of like... Um, yeah, I agree. There's still a lot going on there, depending on which faction you come in as as well. But it's not as bad as it used to be, or as crazy as it used to be. And same thing for the Lustria. Lustria used to be a lot crazier. Manfred? Yeah, Manfred's there, yeah. What, is that? <laughs> what do we have here? We have these. Wait, what is that? What is this one? No, that's why well, that's a Bray Shaman. I did not want that. I should have known by the friggin' name. Uh, crap. I get it. Doesn't matter. We can we can use them in the other army, but it's not what I meant to get. My bad. Uh, tactician. We might just miss the other one so we can hire a level six one. Uh, ambush success chance plus ten percent. Yes. Uh, leadership and melee attack. Yeah. So what level is this Gorbul that we're bringing over? Is he just a baby? He's just a baby. We can just miss him and get a different one. That's higher level. should be interesting and it's gonna make us well i mean i was gonna say it's gonna make us really successful to armies that are good against single entity and against monsters but i mean it's the same thing with a minotaur army right minotaurs are large monster units so that's what i always go for on um on him so i think we gave yourself it's actually off your powdered caffeine kind of just feels like dosing out your drugs <laughs> Love Tarox as he rolls around and people die. I love that. Yeah, Gorbel and Tarox, the, his dive roll. Yeah, I love that. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab Deadly Onslaught on him. It's an ability that's going to give him charge bonus, weapon damage, armor piercing weapon damage on a on a cooldown. For our new Gorbels here, we're going to get them um, melee defense so they get hit less often. Hoping that that will make it so. And let's grab armor actually. Hoping they don't die so we can level them up. Gonna do that on all of them. And then, yeah, I guess that's the end of the turn. Um, Bellicor probably himself is over here, maybe fighting Bretonia. He could also be over here for all we know. We don't, we don't, we don't. All right. On we go. Going spork. Yeah, I really like Tarx's role. And so, for anyone that hasn't played this, or even it, regardless, for everyone, um, some units are better because of their animations, and it's something that, unfortunately, you just learn with experience. Like there are some units that are better than their stats show because of how their animations are. 
A good example of that is like the Scorpions for the Tomb Kings. On paper, their stats are pretty good, but because of how they dive and jump and squiggle around, um, they can't be, be pinned down like a lot of large single entity monsters. And they're very good. They're like extra good because of it. And uh, Tarox's roll means that he can't really get stuck down. Uh, yeah, I usually do the Sword of Cain on Tarox, but I think I'm not this time because, yeah, it's so strong. I, I think I'm going to not do it this time. All right, Cash Need Replenishment or 30% Campaign Movement, Melee Attack, Weapon Strength, uh, or Income from Raiding. So I probably want Movement so we can get over here on this, this one turn. Um, however, the Weapon Strength is going to help with the other army as well. Nah, we'll just take Movement. It's fine. Neat mechanic. Yeah, the only downside is it's hard to know that without experience, right? There's no, like, stat sheet you can look at. Okay, I probably should have recruited another lord, but I don't think we have the money for it. Um... What do we want to drop out of here? I want the Warhounds to take out gates for us. They're really fast at it. Um, the Ungor Herd we can put on someone else. So I'm okay disbanding them. I kind of want to hand them off, but we don't really have anyone to hand them off to. And I'm, I think I'm going to save up and get a Legendary Lord Confederated next. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I don't think I've ever used the Bray Shaman on the map. I always use them in, um, in an army. But, uh, we could... What do, what do they have here? Yeah, we don't have enough money for it, but... We can scout ahead with them. Yeah, Bellicor's not here. Kind of unfortunate, because we want to kill him. This might be a big fight. It's level 3 settlement. Yeah, I have one. I have one. I and that, well, yeah, yeah. If you're going along with what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm like sounding like yeah, yeah. But uh, they really are. Yeah, I really like them. That's one reason why I've never used them as a uh, uh, like out of army hero. For I hardly ever do with any any faction really. All right, I guess we will uh, we'll attack here and uh, we'll see how it goes. Red ruin on them. I think we'll probably be okay. He's only able to. Oh, he hadn't confederated them yet? What has he been doing? It's giving us the auto resolve, but high casualties. That's a lot of stuff. Um, let's see. Our heroes are pretty low level. And I'm replacing these with heroes anyway. It's kind of tempting. We haven't taken a single auto resolve this game, though. Uh, anything that really worries us with our army, we could stomp the single entities, no problem. Tarox didn't destroy them. Uh, Nurglings, no problem. They do have some armor piercing. Beasts of Nurgle are pretty annoying too. Hmm. Auto army heroes, basically all the same. Block army or damage garrison. Self factions aren't very interesting. Yeah. Getting a, an assassination with a hero on another one is really nice, but usually the chance, the percent chance of it is so low. Team Scorpions are so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love using them. My problem with them is that sometimes they get overly enthusiastic. Animations get them stuck in a wall during a siege. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm actually going to auto this, which is surprising. Just to wipe it. I don't think we need to, but I'm replacing these anyway. And this is just like free experience for all the heroes. I think we'll just do it. And then we can take the Regen anyway. Or I can take the money and get a banner for the other. Yeah, let's do that. Screw it. It's not like Bellicor or anyone's here to stop us. Like, 
No, there was only a few anti-large, but it's all right. That's all right. Uh, so we want to grab a dog for the gates. And then we can put the other Bray Shaman in here to get him some experience until we raise the other legendary Lord. Sounds good to me. I guess I should probably not do that this turn. Uh, okay. Oh, we can get Shatterstone. So Shatterstone is an ability that we can use to blow open a section of wall. So we actually don't need the dogs as much anymore than... Dogs are super good at breaking through... Um, breaking through the, the gates. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. We can also have them chase cannons and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I do think... I'm going to get Shatterstone unlocked next. And then extra dread. Okay, let's go see what uh, is going over here with the dark. What's going on over here with the dark elves. They did declare war on us after all. All right. Um, so Tarox is already really strong at the moment. We'll probably come back up here and get him some more things. But I would like to grab... Um, some extra ambush chance on him because it works on his attack and once we're in the empire land and there might be a lot of armies around having something like um more percent chance to ambush seems really good so we're going to hold off on some of his um his buffs actually having said that i didn't get any of these up here yet there's some really good ones like uh more weapon or armor piercing and missile resist so perhaps we'll go to the blue line after i grab these after having said all that uh this one we just have them leveling on their own already i think right yeah i think we have everything we really care about on this one but i'll go ahead and grab these just in case i don't want to take grab the Sarox want Wheaties. I hear weenies. You hear Wheaties. And then there's people on YouTube saying they hear Sweeties. And I can, I can kind of hear all of them, but I hear Wheaties mostly. Uh, let's go with HP and melee defense. Oh, right. I need to grab these things at level 10. You gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. Oops. Lots of heroes. This is the only downside to having lots of heroes. Just coming in here and clicking on all that stuff. Okay, what other research down here have we unlocked? Cooldown reduction and wins of magic cost reduction for Laura Beast is always super good. Um, I think I'm going to take Primal Fury. All right. Your demise is certain. Mm. You fool! What if that's all Bellacourt had? Maybe we won't get his defeat trade, actually. Malekith, don't you have better things to do? No, this is it. My anti-player bias does not allow me to do other things. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Missile strength plus 25% in all of our armies. Uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. He just came over here and resettled this. You come for calm you. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Bulls like wheat. He's right. That makes sense. Anyone named Adam Bias? Clearly, just need more Adams on the map. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. No, I was afraid of that. I should have let Bellacor, uh, res. I'm guessing, um, Bretonia took him out over there on the mainland. Anyway, I wanted his defeat trait, but oh well. 
Oh well, we press on. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> He's got like hydras and stuff in there. If your natural allies do poorly and your natural enemies do well, it feels like that for sure, yeah. Yep. All right, level 10. So we can only choose one of these for each of our Gorbul heroes. We can have it so that um, they have a passive ability for armor and missile resist. Uh, they have a passive ability for melee attack, which is basically accuracy. Um, they have one for if they're a her hero out on the map. Who's running around with Gorbuls as their heroes out on the map? Just the AI, I guess. Uh, and then they have one that increases the um, the effectiveness of Minotaur in the army by allowing them to uh, cause terror. Um, so we want one of ours to have this because we are probably still going to have Minotaur for quite some time. We'll go ahead and grab that on one of them. And on the rest of them, we just want them to be like... Oh, we want to split probably between these. So we'll do like armor. This, uh, because it impacts allies in the area not just uh, not them we'll split that up a little bit so we're gonna go in order as well this time um we're just gonna go right down the line of these playthroughs these long campaign playthroughs and so after the beastmen we'll be doing bretonia i haven't done an order playthrough in probably a couple years either and um I've never done a playthrough, a full playthrough of Bretonia. Not even close. I think the furthest I've ever gone with Bretonia is like turn 10. So that should be a pretty interesting one for me, at least. Um, I'm not going to worry about upgrading this one right now. My money is going to be better served elsewhere, I believe. Oh, the lady. I'm not sure which one I'm going to play as yet. I'm leaning toward either Raponce or um, uh, Corazon. What is the name of the the caster lady? <laughs> Malika that really wants this army. Can't remember her name. Fey Enchantress. Thank you. Fey Enchantress can be rough at the start. I'm leaning that way though. Carcassonne. That's it. Carcassonne. A wild knight. Leadership plus five, but chaos undivided corruption minus two. Or chaos undivided corruption plus two. Uh, we'll go with the leadership. Five turns. Not bad. Alright. It's nice and low. We'll just take it. Main chance is good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited uh, for the Bretonia playthrough because I've never done one of those. Never done one of those. Oh, they have a... Army, I didn't... I didn't realize that was there. You think these guys are going to resettle that as well, just like last time? I could blow it up. Oh, I might as well. Actually, I kind of want to bait them in to do that. Huh. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll see. Because if they resettle it, we can get some more um, some more dread out of that. Do I have enough money to upgrade those things? Um, the next thing I probably want to get on him out of this... I don't know, actually. We probably want to get more of these for the army buffs and things. I don't think on Tarox I'm going to go with any of these other military units. I think we're just going to go Minotaur and, um, and Gorbals on him, but these things definitely help, so. File entry is really good. It greatly depletes ammunition uh, of an enemy unit, so you can, like, get rid of a lot of the ammo from those artillery units without having to get back there on them. A little RNG to you, depending on if Morgar comes north or messes around in Astalia. Morgar. Yeah, you could also get in the problem, I guess, of Ikit just coming right right through the mountain, right? 
I get more Gura headed for you. Alrighty, so uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to go towards some uh, ambush stuff. Post-battle chance stealing a magic item, income from post-battle loot. Casualty replenishment rate is always good. We'll grab that. Bray Shaman, I have already gotten everything on it that I really care to do. Uh, but we'll, we'll upgrade and devolve. Press the Bretonians unless you play as Rapunzel. Yeah, she's down there with uh, Arakan. It seems like it would be annoying to play Rapunzel because of um, um, Vampire Coast. Seems like Aranessa would just be sending crap across the, that narrow channel all the time. Grom the Pont, yeah, he's right above, uh, right between the those northern Bretonians, right? Melee defense. Melee uh, Bray Scream. Great AoE skill. Great cast. Alright, we're going sailing. See ya. I have definitely never sent a Beastman army through the, um, the sea lanes. He's going, fat middle-aged man. <laughs> Always sounds like I'm insulting you. I don't know, it's my name. The campaign's going well. It is. We had a really rough start. I was getting back into the swing of things and screwing up and... But uh, it's good now. All right. Um, so we have to think ahead. If we're doing mainly heroes, the Tarox this time, what legendary lord are we going to confederate next? We're going to confederate Morgur. I, or not Morgur. Excuse me. Um, uh, wait. Do I want to? Hmm. Not Kazrak. Maybe Morgur. He starts over there. Well, he's probably dead. AI doesn't do well with Beastmen. Hmm. Not sure which one I want to confederate first. I could either go... Yeah, I think they're probably all dead at this part. Honestly, I'd be surprised. Which one's mo more likely to have been up longer? Kazrak's definitely screwed. Morgur m might still be okay. And then uh, what's-his-face down there with Scarbrand might be okay too, especially if you made a deal with Scarbrand. Um... So we could act. We could start buffing Bestigor and Gore units, uh, beasts, so that we can eventually get to like Jabber Slithes and uh, it actually helps two different ones. Jabber Slithes and all that are pretty good. Um, also, getting upgrades for the Cygor. There's lots of options. Oh, we haven't even done this one yet. Uh, win five ambush battles. Okay. Character aura leadership on all characters. Speed five percent for all units. We'll just grab that while we're trying to decide, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm I'm leaning Malagor. Malagor's really strong. Um, he's a flying caster. They're all really strong. I think Kazrak is probably. I don't know. I find Kazrak kind of the weakest, but. I guess Kazrak with Bestigors is probably pretty fine. Unless I'm mixing him up. It's been a while. So who's next after Bretonia if we're going in order? I think Chaos Dwarves actually, right? Oh. An ambush? Um... Or rage plus two or leadership plus five. Take the leadership. No madness. No. We should be fine, I think. Oh, now it's giving it to us. Uh, low casualties. Yeah, we we'll just... Oh, crap. I didn't notice the dog. Oh, well. We'll just take it. 
that was the end of them. It's our first like real auto resolves in this against armies, or, I believe. Level 26 will get a free Jabber Slice. Um, not very far away. All right, well, that Albion Island didn't last very long. We'll just go ahead and perform this ritual. What do we get at the next one? That's when we, were, we unlocked Minotaur. Now we're going to Bretonia, fair Bretonia. We fair for long, I guess. Uh, we'll take casualty replenishment again. I think we're gonna split this again with one armor, one attack. We'll keep upgrading Bray Scream because it's just really good. Really good. It's not. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, it takes a little bit to get through the sea lane, so can't do much else this run or this, uh, this turn. On tins, welcome in. Malekith is now on land. He's going to go destroy that herdstone, but we're done in that part of the world, so whatever. I guess we'll get free dread from him destroying that, huh? Because it's still considered a battle. Uh, horde growth minus four, but chaos undivided corruption increase or a thousand money. Yeah, give me the money. All right, here we are. There's treasure. Um, let's see how our new little lord does. What makes Bray Scream good? So Bray Scream is an area of effect spell that's very cheap. Uh, so it's really good if you can clump enemies together. Uh, it's also like a, it's a cone shape. So it makes it relatively easy to like cast from where your units are into where the other ones are being held in. But it's just a, an AOE move that does pretty good damage, especially because it's so low in, we'll call it mana cost. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's check this one out. We don't care about this army, really. So if we lose this army, it's no big deal. This is just all trash stuff that we didn't spend any money on. Yeah, Bray Scream is a little, uh... Cone area of effect spell that's very cheap to cast. Definitely be able to see it, um... when we fight some more battles with Tarok. You should always care about your friends. Oh, this is my friend. He's not even a Gorbul, why do I care? Man, they are so far over there, this freaking sea battle. Look how open this is. Of course, this is the map that we would get. We're in the ocean. Where is this? Uh, right. He's going to be so slow. He doesn't have his mount or anything. Yeah, this is probably not, not going to be great. Hmm. Are these trees enough to hide the dogs? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Must be the Forbidden Brazil you've heard so much about. <laughs> something. So their cannons are going to be kind of peppering us as we come up. I guess it's more than peppering, right? Oh, they have mortars, not cannons. So even... Oh, they're going to use the mortars against the dogs? Works for me.
I shouldn't do this way, but I'm gonna put all that on the gunnery mob. See if we can just blast him. Uh, the Lord, we probably just need his leadership aura up here. Dogs on the mortars. Yeah, one of the mortars hit there. This is not a good way to do it, but whatever. And I didn't even look that he was a caster. Alright, mortar is going to be gone. Gunnery mob. Get you back on those. No gambling. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the gamble. Thank you. Uh, we'll do it on the next one. Yeah, I'm gonna lose more than I should have. I, I should have looked if it was they had a caster or not. I should have just known they were a caster, honestly. But So we won anyway, but and we lost less than the auto resolve. We didn't lose any units, but uh, we could have not had about 60 people die <laughs> if I had uh, not clumped up like that. At least the uh, the hand cadence didn't get very much. Nothing much we can do about the depth guard. I don't think I had anything that's good against them. So that was just they were just churning through things. Our narwhal has defeated some pirates. Got 6,000 favor from that. Nice. So, uh, let's land and see what's going on down here. Hello. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. I almost immediately went into raiding. I kind of want to. But, uh, the army's pretty weak. They don't have uh, an army that close, though. I mean, this one might get reach us. We could run. They're not have movement. Yeah, screw him. 615. These lizards over in Lustria are rich. They are rich. Uh, let's upgrade the ranged units on that or in that army. Tarox has arrived. In the lands of the living. Sucks for them. 522. I have quite a bit of money. I am going to go ahead and grab one of these here. Why not? 748. How much was it for the... Um, 1200. 1200. The Confederation. 
What, you might... You, you don't want to just sit here and allow me to... <laughs> well, I, uh, that's so funny. We're rating him for way more money than that. I have never actually given in to any of these demands, ever. If you decline this, they'll go to war with you immediately. So... Is he going to let us sit there and rate him for, like, 700? If I don't... If I, if I give him this and we make more money in the long run? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Should be funny. Test it? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. So this herdstone we don't care about. We, we're done with that area. There is absolutely no way to beat this army with this. Um, like, straight up. Uh, it is a minor settlement. We, uh, battle, so we can make him bleed for it. But there's no reason. We don't we don't have anyone over here to fight after this. So he's just going to heal up. So we're just going to give it to him. We'll get some dread out of it. We don't care about the stuff over there. He's not one of our long uh, campaign goals. So got to keep telling myself we're here for the long campaign victories in these playthroughs. I don't know what Bretonia's long campaign is either. We'll be playing them next. But I don't know. Uh, 2000 or Horde Growth. Just take the money. Going, uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this Hafif. Hafif. Okay, man. Maybe I'm butchering him. Sure. Sorry. Welcome in. Total War Hammer 3. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Norska confederating their Norskins. Lord of Bretonia. Hmm. Um. Yeah, that's back up to full price now. Just fill the dogs back in there and uh, let's get Tarox up his building up to uh, tier four, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. I hope Malkith abandons his home to knock over your herdstone for the entire campaign. It's very likely. I was thinking about that. I was like, we're going to be over here fighting like um, fighting the, the Empire. And like fighting Carl and all of a sudden there's gonna be a Malchus army coming through. I don't remember which campaign that was where I um, to get money from someone. I agreed to go to war with a Dwarven faction and I was like the Dwarf faction was this one. The ones in these mountains here. I forget his name. Thoric? Thoric? And we were oh it was my Gorse campaign and we were over here and I had forgotten about it and like 40 turns later all of a sudden a dwarf army from Thoric shows up right here. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Why? Why? Yeah, man, we're just gonna raid, raid here. Screw him. Um... Income from raiding. I don't think I've ever taken that. Nice. I actually should heal up, probably. Here, we'll do this. Return. Sure they won't see us. I'll get us some free dread gain as well. I gotta spend that, though. I don't think that army's long for this world. Um. All right, we'll give them some more defenses. I should be giving them um, leadership. Come to think of it. All right, getting closer to a second legendary lord army. Trying to hover over the plus sign on my units to see how many turns it would take to heal up. 
Uh, let me get the game old stuff ready. There, uh, there we go. For anyone wondering what I'm talking about, uh, Twitch has a channel point system, which are these fake points, these fantasy points. Wolfric has declared war. Cool. Um, and so we we do a thing with Total War where you can gamble on the outcome of uh, of battles. Right, you want to play yourself? Yeah. Uh, have we gotten any more loot during this that I want to switch? We should also go do his quest. We'll probably wait till the heroes level up a little bit more, but... Um, let's see. Really don't have a lot on him, huh? Yeah. Turning is earning 10,000 chivalry, which is easy in itself. It takes a long time. Is that all there is? That's kind of unfortunate. I was thinking maybe one of the things of their long victory was like reuniting all of Bretonia. So you'd have to go to like Lustria to get what's his face and, um, you know, go down there and get Rapunz. Yeah, it's just chivalry, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. But... Yeah, interesting campaign just because I'm my first time doing it but it is not. that looks like your wow warrior <laughs> is that is that he rod's mantle he's wearing uh, tarox has on uh no it's not for copyright reasons no not how people like adam you know warhammer was before warcraft right? yes i know thank you i appreciate your support what am i doing today i'm pretty tired from yesterday but doing all right thank you again for the uh the, the bits Oh, never mind. That's vampiric corruption. I was about to have, uh, <laughs> I was about to be very. No, it is Slanesh. I was right. Favorite game to stream. I actually really like playing this game. Yeah, it's not good for the stream, but I keep coming back to it. Is Warhammer old like Adam old? Warhammer is older than I am, I believe. Um, or I think so. When was Warhammer first? There's Slanesh corruption over in Bretonia. I've never seen the AI do that. So Nakari still has the high elf spot there. He has the second high elf city down here. You can tell because of the corruption. He doesn't have these. He could be still allied with them. Alarial is going to wipe him out, but wow, that's surprising. Nakari has impacted this area. This seems really old. You are a guest in my realm. You will act like it. He hasn't beat the starting you dwarves. Where you stand. But he's strength rank 45. Yeah, okay. 1983. Okay, so yeah, it's older than I am. Alright, it's war time. No. 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 Anti-large. Armor piercing, anti-large, anti-large, anti-large. Scrum, let's go. All right, we're going to see these in action. Um, Let me put the, the wager up. There you go. If you'd like to wager your real fake points on Twitch. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I had to make sure it started real fake points yeah I don't, I don't know um i really do like playing this game so i do like streaming it as well I'm not sure if there's another one that i would like streaming more or not yeah they're peasant units so even though they're anti-large it's not really i don't think it's a big deal they're peasants they're gonna break so quickly server thank you for two thousand more bits congrats on the win yesterday thank you i I do. I really appreciate it. I I had a discussion in Discord yesterday, but I'm worried that the ship thing is going to go down a bad route because of some people. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but there are people that anything that's competitive, even if it's friendly competition, 
um, with, with groups of people that big are going to pull it in the wrong direction. And there are people that are making... I, I'm trying to put it where it doesn't sound too bad, but there are people that are um, taking it way too far. I'm not talking about people that are playing in it. People in communities of the people that are playing in it are taking it too far like it's some, you know, like um, major league sports thing or something, right? I hope it doesn't go down that route. I try to make sure nothing like that's happening over here. And I tell people not to go to other communities with that crap. But with so many people, it's just going to happen. And I really hope it doesn't uh, devolve further like that, you know? We'll see, I guess. Pretty unfortunate. The specialized lungs deal with them. Yeah, it's not bothering me. I just don't want it to plague the event. Yeah. Why do you have so many heroes? Heroes are good. These ones, very good. Um, We have Shatterstone now. Where's a good open area? I don't think there is one on this map, is there? Uh, This is probably our best bet. Lots of tree cover. Uh, the Gorbals are very strong melee heroes, so we're using them. Uh, Shatterstone will be up. Okay. We're going to use them a lot. I usually go full Minotaur with Tarox, but that's the problem. Is I usually do it, so I wanted to go a little bit differently. But yeah, they're very strong. Everyone yesterday, you guys suck, dude. As long as the content creators keep their series, yeah, and that's that's the problem. Like I said, I don't want to get into it too much, but we had some people saying stuff towards me and Smurf yesterday, which really shouldn't be a thing. 18 minutes hour and a gorbel. No, 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 not this time. Not this time. That was pretty much what it was last time. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's, it's all in good fun. Hopefully people know it's just for fun. It's like if it gets to be no matter if I'm winning or losing or what's happening, if it gets to be too ridiculous, I will just stop doing it. Wow, they sent nothing over here. Yeah, but it's it's not their it's not their fault, right? When you have thousands of people, there's no way. New some of the defense AI is pretty good. I've never yeah, since the update, I haven't seen them um I guess we were all hidden, right? So Yeah, somehow you behave. As far as I know, yeah. Is that the wrong one? No, okay. Good lord. pretty well. say Caucasian? You can't just yell Caucasian. Especially when you're a giant bull. Adam, I don't think that's what he said. I'm almost certain he just... That's what he said. Oh, 
His Bretonian is like, hey man, what the crap? They said we'd be safe in the capital. They're like, the capital is right in the middle of the territory. It's so far away from any of this. Slayer's Oath. Slayer's Oath. Be careful on that one. He's just a baby gorbel. doing he's smashing of course the only thing he knows how to do oh i need him for so that's all right so there's the brace screen move be pretty good pretty good especially against these uh low tier units We won. It was super close. Maybe Gorbel will just chomped a man in half. <laughs> you might be right. Man, that was just pure carnage. Uh, they didn't have an army there, really. So this was just garrison. So not every battle will be this easy. But it's fun to watch one of those. Would you rather be a Bretonian peasant or a Skaven slave? <laughs> I don't know, man. Skaven slave, you probably get eaten. I think Bretonian peasant... Uh, you want to see a whirlwind? That'd be amazing too. All right, let me pay people out. Choose prediction outcome. Decisive victory. More real fake points. Tyrox roast sweeties. The baby Gorbel got 67 kills. Uh, we're gonna set up a herdstone here. I don't see Mr. Lewin Kidder. Well, two herdstone. Um, let's get line of sight. The vampires are taking over. I have money for that. Tarox ring its uh, more replenishments. Uh, some more melee defense. Melee defense. Melee defense. This Bray Shaman. Uh, let's get this. This makes it so when he casts, um, he's gonna buff nearby units. And we're almost at the point that we can confederate another legendary lord. Um, Bretonia had a full stack army that was here that marched away. They might be able to make it back next turn. And it is very possible that um, Leon Luenker is right over here. 
So we might end up getting hit with a pretty big attack, depending on if they have the movement for it or not. Um, We could go ahead and recruit another Lord just in case that happens. So we have a little bit more muscle and then dismiss them on the next turn if we want. Um, We should probably do it just in case it's worth the 1200 for the extra peace of mind, I guess. And then we might as well recruit on this. All oh, right, you can't on the same turn with them. Let's do that to build up rage. In fact, you have to get those extra cool bonuses. Some of them get Hearthstone bonuses. I'm not sure which which all do. Is his? Maybe. All right, back to raiding. Lewin, Louis, Lewinson, Leon, Lewin Kerr. That's right. Ah, uh, flawed one is some of the devil. Holy Spider Christ. <laughs> yeah. We don't care about that. We already destroyed that part of the world. Wow, Malchus is like, these friggin' beastmen. How do they conquer all this? They're so weak. Look how easily I'm taking all these. We are feeding him a lot of experience, though. We gotta be careful. We gotta keep at least one herdstone up somewhere here that we actually try to keep. Those ones we don't care about, but... I gotta be careful because if we lose all those then Tarx dies or something, that would be what a what an anticlimactic end to the campaign that would be. Uh there he is. This is ill considered. There he is. Alright, Tarox can reach here this turn. Uh so we will hit that. And we want to get away from this a little bit, so. That extra movements. We'll go into encampment. Maybe we'll get an ambush on one of these groups coming through. 75% chance. Uh, and this one, we're going to go back here and recruit on him. Or herd. Uh, how are the Zangors, by the way? Has anyone used them? I know they were added with the um, the last DLC, and I didn't use them when I played uh, the... Uh, what's his name? Oh, God. When I played whoever these were added with. I played Civilization. Yeah, I played a lot of Civilization. Yeah. How similar is this game to that one, if you have? So I would say, Spaz, that this part is very similar to Civilization or similar to a 4X game like Civilization. And the battles are RTS. So if you don't like the RTS portion, the Changeling, that's right, the Changeling. If you don't like the RTS portion, you can put that difficulty down lower or mod it to not matter. And then you can just play mainly the overworld stuff. So one of the nice things is uh, this game allows you to... Excuse me. This game allows you to change the difficulty of both of those uh, separately. But yeah, the overworld is very much um, kind of like Civilization. The only difference is you can't settle where you want. They're pre-existing. So the, the settlements. But as far as like, you know, selecting what you build and things like that, kind of like the older Civilizations a little bit. It's definitely 4X. In this game, I have enjoyed Total War. Is Legendary the difficulty? Legendary is the difficulty, yes. So it's the hardest difficulty in this game. I don't think I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to have him just um, AI choose his points because I don't care what he gets from here. We're pretty much done with what we need to decide on him. Uh, these ones, uh, though, let's see. Armor piercing, armor and missile resist. Missile resist. 
Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's make them a little tankier. Armor and missile resist. We get evasion on our caster, so hopefully give him some extra chance to survive. Yeah, and if you're not playing on um, the hardest difficulty on the battles, you can also pause and look at everything. You can issue orders while paused. You can do that as well. You don't you don't have to play on this one. This one, if you see during the battles, I don't do any pausing because on this difficulty, if you pause, it gives um, a big menu to block the game so you can't do anything during pausing. Find a streamer that only plays on easy difficulty? I wonder, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone streaming an easy difficulty. I can't believe Mazda Mundi is just letting us raid this for 645 every turn because we paid him off. <laughs> How long is that going to last? That's that's pretty awesome, actually. We showed up and Mazda Mundi was like, hey, if you don't give me a thousand golds or whatever this favor. We're going to war. And it was like, oh, yeah, no worries. No worries, man. Here's a thousand. And then we've raided him for like 1,800. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let's see what uh, these guys do. They resettled that. Okay. Uh. Wow. Wow. The AI. <laughs> hey, Dark Moon. So, casualty replenishment plus 50%. Campaign movement plus 40. Uh, melee attack and melee strength. Or horde recruitment. If we do, no matter how far, we can do a bunch of battles right here in a row. And be pretty safe. We could just run away. If we get caught out. Yeah, let's do that. A stone lasted till turn 24, huh? Hmm. I'm sure he's on his way over here. Man, the beast encampment is silly. Really good. Uh, terminal. Think of the 14 months. Hey, terminal. Terminal? Wow, these peasants are about to have a real bad day. I probably want to attack this first, though. Yeah, let's hit this first. How close are we to rampaging? Really close. <laughs> They're like, hey, where'd that Beastman army come from? Decisive low, but we lose a Minotaur? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. We're going to fight this one. I don't know that I'm going to do a gamble on these ones that are just like a stomp, honestly. All right. And the auto resolve really gives a lot of uh, a lot of points, well, at least on this difficulty, to that anti-large, huh? I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to put those on two, these on three. Set them back here just in case. Oh, 
let's see how our uh others do here How's the latest patch? Uh, it's it's interesting. Um, we haven't played very much. This is only the second part of this. Uh, it's, it's only the second uh, time I played since the patch. The change to uh, settlements is kind of kind of interesting because now you have to take a certain building before you can take the capture point, the the win condition point. Um, and if they retake that that key building. Even if you've taken the win condition point, it's re or, or it doesn't progress the meter anymore. So, cheesing settlement battles is less. It's more difficult now. Not possible, but it's more difficult. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of some of their uh, movement. Heroes can still kind of just walk through a base, though. Yeah, depending on who you're fighting as well. They do a bit better of uh, pulling, pulling back now. Chomping through that guy. Slow those guys down. And we're ready to summon the other Cygor there. Uh, they're attacking the puppies. Uh, we want to use the puppies to go after uh, units that could recuperate. So let's just put them in the trees back there. Puppies in the trees. Wanted to kill that guy. Uh, it's technically a settlement battle, but... Okay, we'll brace from that. Oh, the guy's back for more. And slow those down. Uh, the Minotaur, let's just bring them back. I don't need them to take any more damage, just because... Lewin... Coming at some point. I'm basically using the Gorble heroes as like a their own stack of Minotaur, which is kinda kinda insane. Uh I think this is considered a minor settlement battle, right? So we should get full kill credit anyway. Oh, um, one of the really good changes, though, with the settlement, um, for the attacker is now that if you destroy a building, they can't just remake it right away. That, you know, hinders you from doing that as well, of course, but that is kind of nice. It always sucked if, like, there was no reason to really decide to destroy a tower because they would just rebuild it. Like, can't do that anymore. Uh, also, it's harder to stealth cap everything because the towers now have a detection of stealth units. 
So you can't do like uh, when I did with Sneak's campaign where we, him and a couple of assassins would scale the walls and it was very thematic for him, for him but it was pretty exploitive, I guess. Uh, he would scale the walls and they would like stealth back there and if anything came, they would unstealth and kill them. It was fun, but I, I'm guessing that will be much harder now. I haven't tried it, but on paper, it seems like it would be. Wow, Puppy's got 100 kills at the end. Oh, that Gorbul getting more kills than Tarox. That's because Tarox is on the single entities. I think it's Duke. Twenty-five. So we need one more point in this to get unholy resilience. Attrition suffered by defenders when laying siege. We're never gonna lay siege, so it doesn't matter. Uh, more income is always good. We're probably not gonna be raiding too much with him either. This at level two gets us more income from raising settlements, which we are doing. This is from all battles. Let's go with all battles. Um. Upgrade their damage a little bit. And we'll get Savage Dominion so we can summon even more of those temporary Saigor, which for anyone that doesn't know, Saigor are basically like a, a monster that's an artillery. They just throw big boulders. Your solo mechanic will run any because of plague. Oof. Were you super immune? Anytime you're doing a solo run, I highly recommend either having the immunity gene or having the trait. Because it really sucks to lose it on something like that, yeah. Hey, we can get a legendary lord. Legendary Lord Confederated. All right, let's do it. I think I'm going to go Malagor. Get this man some weenies. One reason I'm thinking about going Malagor is it's a different play style than Tarox's army. This will be much more about controlling him, flying around and casting spells rather than just running in with bulls and smashing. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Malagor is good too, yeah. He's really strong as a caster. All right, let's grab him. Let's see if he's still alive. I doubt it. Malagor is alive and he's only level seven. Let's see what craziness he's done here. Uh... We might not have to respec him. But we are cool. Yeah, yeah, I like the Beastman. So for anyone that didn't know, another great change in the most recent patch is you can now respec, but it it makes them wounded for three turns. But this isn't bad. Like I probably wouldn't go wouldn't have put two points into Pendulum, but really we're just trying to get to Greater Arcane Conduit anyway, and you have to put five points back here, so not not too bad. I would definitely have put two in Flock of Doom and I would have put some in movement. So yeah, we, um, I don't think we need to do anything as far as that's concerned. All right, let's see what he gets here. He gets enemy leadership in the local region, minus five, um, going up to minus nine. Uh, he can start getting that at level 12. What's the magic power reserve capacity? Uh, unit capacity for harpies. Harpies aren't too good. Uh, control reduction causes terror. Your action cost reduction for Bray Shaman. It's whatever. Uh, he has a, um, something that causes damage around him, but he needs to be in, in battle to, to do it. Like, he needs to be on the ground. He's a flying unit. Pendulum is fun to use, though. Yeah, that little, the animation of it. It's not bad. Bad. Armor and melee defense. Armor. Hmm. So, Jabber Slide or Gorgon army would be be pretty nice with this he doesn't seem to have anything else specifically for units though right you move further in the beast paths 
Yeah, so his is mainly going to be about, um, until we get to monster units, he's mainly going to be about holding people in place while he kills them with spells. So knowing that, we might want to go down his red line a little bit. Uh, another option would be getting to the ambush. Ambush stance. He also has his other uh, magic here. Hmm. Spam, Allegor is great. Yeah, yeah, Flock of Doom is awesome. So, I'm thinking we'll probably upgrade some, um, some meat shields for him. I don't know why. Maybe I go blue line first. And we'll decide next turn. What are some good mods for Emerald for someone who is somewhat new? So, my big thing with Emerald, if you're talking about mods, is... Play the game without mods. I mean, you don't have to, obviously, but play the game without mods first if you haven't already. And whatever you find as like, oh, I wish this game had this, or I wish this was changed, there's probably a mod for that, and then go add that one. So if you're in there and you're like, man, I wish the UI had more information about what's going on, then you can go look at uh, UI mods like uh, Rim HUD or Numbers, those ones, uh, to get a lot more information for you. Or you're like, man, I'm used to these games having a mini-map. There is a mini-map mod. Go get, go get the mini-map mod. Uh, that's usually my what I tell people to do. Um, once you get further along and you're like, I want more content from a mod, more so than quality of life stuff, the vanilla expanded stuff is always great to look at. Um, yeah, so many people use vanilla expanded that people forget some of the things that are vanilla expanded and some things that are in the actual vanilla game. So yeah, that, that's mainly what I would say. Chat might have a different opinion, but... And tears, thank you for the 21 months. 21 months. Wow, they have made him get like, like all of his, uh, it kind of sucks because I wanted him up there in, uh, with us, but whatever. Uh, anyway, they made him get rid of all of his bestial rage. Bestial rage. Uh, he has a Gorbul. It's level 8. It's a higher level than he is, huh? What do you put on this one? Level... Wait. Okay, there we go. Um... It's alright. It's alright, too. Not a big deal. They get so many levels. Mm -hmm. Yep, no problem. We're just farming money over here. Farming money. Alright, on we go. <gasps> I misclicked. I just used three points that I did not need to use. Whoops. Not the end of the world, but that sucks. I didn't mean to click that. I was hovering over. Oh well, nothing to do about it. You could technically reload, but oh well. I'm not gonna do that. My own fault. Sucks though. Mod running gun, not a shame. Yeah, whatever you have fun with. Yeah, whatever you have fun. Running gun is a uh, is a fun mod, very powerful. Fun mod. Decisive low because of the ambush. We'll just take it. Get full kills that way. Missile resist item. Sucks. I reset my. Uh, my moves on accident, or not my moves, my, uh, my movement. Dope, yeah. Simpson, or a Homer moment, so. <laughs> right, we'll get Unholy Resilience. It's gonna give casualty replenishment specifically to Tarox. And if he dies, he will be wounded for, uh, if he's wounded, he'll be wounded for one less turn. Let's go ahead and grab the next rank of Savage Dominion. Now is when I want to use the, um... The movement reset to go get Grung Zint. I mean, we have eight tokens still, but. 
I'll just take it next turn. Maybe he even goes there and we take him out. All right. Um, we can unlock the recruitment of the better Minotaur. I mean, we have so much money. Uh, the other option is we can get the Vile Entropy move. It's really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to get all this. All right, just, just grab it all. Grab it all. Get Dread per turn on that guy. And what do we want to get with our next Dread? I'm thinking just of getting the Legendary Lord so we can have different armies bashed around. The only downside is if we do this... We don't have uh, unit caps for them to have good armies. They'll just all have trash armies for a long time. Oh, did anyone answer about the Zangors? How are they? Have not used them. They're real, they're pretty new. Uh, and then when you find something you don't like or that doesn't fit your play style, just mod it to change. Yeah. Let's go, Mana Cat. Thank you again, by the way. Let's go to XC31. Welcome in. We should get um, Malgor's quest now, too. I can't remember what his reward is. Staff or something? Or mantle? Shit, plus eight. Nice getting the lords leveled up early. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the Beastman, um, the AI is not going to level them up, you know? So. A quest has yeah, been issued, go. mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, yeah, I think I should probably do that, even if they have crappy. The thing about them, too, is so like, too the even if you lose the battles on them, um, you're getting dread, so you're making progress even in losing, unlike a lot of them. Oh, his is uh, not what I was thinking. Hero capacity plus one for Brave Shaman, recruit rank increase, horde building, construction cost reduction, horde growth. Icons of vilification. There's shit plus 12 around him. Okay. I guess for an enchanted item slot, it's pretty decent. All right. So if this he's coming towards this next turn, lady. he's going to come right through here. Just keep raiding. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh, and we got deadly onslaught on all these. Low rage, yeah, we're working on it. It is an imbus. I was not expecting to see uh defeat on the even on the auto resolve of that. That was surprising. I mean they have a lot of crypt ghouls. Our stuff is kinda crap, but I feel like Malagor would just over time grind through most of this. Like we just go sit on a point, have them clump. They don't have any range, and Malagor just... Wait, what's our Winds of Magic at? Oh, uh, 25. Never mind. Um... Hmm. Let's see if they march out. Will we be better off in a open fight with them? This guy's gonna get there. We don't fight this. Um, doesn't have any equipment. Feel like we're probably fine. Are bad for early mid game units though. 
Yeah, that's true. Even the um the our raiders are pretty decent for their good tier. I'm trying to decide whether it'd be better to fight them in the open or fight them in the settlement. I think it'd be better in the open, honestly. Now that's a thinking face. That's right. <laughs> uh, Ambro, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Ambro. Very much appreciated. Yeah, all right. Dread gain from battles plus 20%. Excellent. I don't really want the siege equipment, so I don't care. Yeah, puppies. Puppies are siege equipment enough. When's the next uh, Regiment of Renown unlocked? Level 28, a Gorgon. All right, Leon Lewin Lucker. Let's see what you do. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, oh, hey, it's Malekith donating some more dread. Next turn. Next turn. Thanks, Malekith. What a friend. What a friend. Here he comes. Oh, man, I wouldn't have come back if I'd known you were going to chicken out. Is there any reason for us to care about our reliability in a Tarox run? I'm thinking about taking this money and then attacking him anyway. That's what I'm thinking. The downside to it might be that he recruits units between the turns. But I don't think there's any... We're not planning on allying anyone, so... We could just be the most reliable cow. <laughs> um, yeah... I, I'm not going to take it this turn. I might do something like that to a bigger target. Like maybe um, Kimler up there. But I don't want him recruiting. Do I declare on you for just for being untrustworthy? I think most people are going to declare on me anyway. That's Tarox, but yeah. Sounds fine. I think I'm going to do that to someone, yeah. He recruited anyway. Upgrade any settlement building to five for shard of the herdstone. Casting amulet and some other odds and ends. Eric victory. Let me bother to do this one. Wow, such advancing. Maybe I'll regret that. Maybe I'll regret it. Not this turn. Uh, what level is he? Don't need to bank points yet. Yeah, I'm going to go blue line first on him. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, we're so close to Arcane Con Greater Arcane Conduit already. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're four points total away, right? Uh, All right, we'll do this first. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, okay. Stop. Say what you must, but know you play a dangerous game. Yes, yes, dangerous game. Finished. 
Uh, yeah. We're gonna kill this guy too. We'll just kill anyone. He's over there somewhere. We could reach him with this. We don't have a lot, though. I don't want to end my run. Um, he like marched back. There's no. Okay, I don't know. He's pretty far over there, probably. Let's just attack here. Screw it. Why do we care? Foolish more battles, mortal. more chaos. Size have been low, sure. Yeah, he's all the way over at that fort. You're not enemies with the vampires. This is Bretonia. Nope. I am its king. He just hates dwarves and cows. Dwarves and cows. Okay, um Yeah, we'll wait on that. Oh, oh, uh the Zangors. Sorry. That, I just realized that's what the question were was you were answering. Um because YouTube has lo um more latency with the chat. Is that your meaning when I was like the uh the legendary lords will just have trash armies and you said that the armies are pretty good for low level. Or, uh, the units are pretty good for a little level. I think you were talking about Zangors, right? Not... Not the trash units, or the starter units here. <laughs> me too, Lewin, me too. Alright, keep getting that money. I'm getting that money. All right, so uh, ambush success chance. It's only at three points. It's only 10% more. Probably a good reason, though. Probably a very good reason for that. Uh, we'll get more wins of magic reserve. Deadly onslaught on all these. That way I can just use the same button for all of them. Be lazy. Backstabbing is the best stabbing. I mean, I really never seen the AI do that. Or if you pay them off. You really need to double stack that, Alcus? Oh, no, he doesn't. We have like infinite herdstones at the moment. So now the question comes, does Malekith sail across the sea to Bretonia to try to ch chase a cow? Think of the internet is trash to you, does not help? Oh yeah, no worries. The Zingars are pretty decent for an early unit. Oh, man, that was close. I mean, he's still in Marsh stands right next to us, but... <laughs> He's just running around in vampiric... Oh, there he goes. I was going to say, running around in vampiric corruption. Back and forth in March dance. That was those guys' last settlement. It's match powers are plus five or more chaos, undivided corruption. Uh, Yeah, we'll get the Winds of Magic for ten turns. Fine. Dreams pass. Someone who is doing a settlement right now is trying Deathless Blood Noon. We're going to run. Oh. You talking about the panda? Hey, talisman of preservation. Nice. Are they doing torchless as well, or just deathless blood moon? Uh, so that's really good. We'll put talisman of preservation on, and we'll pass this loot on down the line. Yeah. Knowing how much done that run before. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if it was torchless, deathless, or not. That's a whole different ballgame. Just says deathless, okay. Yeah, I've done that one a few times. 
It's like giving your used clothes to, like little brothers. Yeah, the <laughs> Tarks is just passing his stuff down to the other Gorbals. Who's been here the longest? Oh, those guys are super screwed. Okay, so not only am I taking this because of decisive low, they're in March chance, so it doesn't matter, but this is a good opportunity to talk about this. The vampires are so friggin' annoying to wipe out. You will beat them in a battle out here, and if you didn't auto resolve, they can sometime get, uh, what is it, dead rise again or whatever, and occasionally they'll just have their full army again immediately, or at least all their best units instant resurrection of a bunch of their units including heroes and lords it's it's really frustrating so sometimes when you get an auto resolve to wipe out an um a vampire army you just take it anyway as long as it's not like super detrimental so we're not auto resolve it so annoying chasing down the vampire sometimes but not chasing that one Hmm. I want to get Tarox to the Oak of Ages. Like, even if we lose this crap behind us, we can come back and kill it. So, we're just going to keep headed towards the Oak of Ages. Um, which means we're probably not going to be over in Grungzint or Marienburg anytime soon. But I don't want to perform the ritual... Yet, I don't think. We're at 84. We can unlock uh, construction cost reduction, another Hearthstone, another army, and Minotaur recruitment. If I just go ahead and do it. But are we going to use that this turn? No. It, it's fine. Okay, we need to get his uh, wrath up. You just keep earning money. <laughs> hey, uh, could we earn more money from Marathi? Probably not. All right, uh, we're gonna make these probably just tankier for now. Uh, we're fighting vampires. Uh, it might be a good idea to get some more leadership, too. Yeah, let's grab that. There's also... Yeah. There's the off chance that occasionally happens where the AI builds up an army that reduces um, leadership so much that your units are just breaking all the time. All right. Nice and low. Things are getting really silly with Tarox's army now. Raise a herd stone down here. It's destroyed. Who cares? We got the Gorgon unlocked as well. We'll probably get that to um, Malagor. Got tin. Uh, more ambush chance. Go ahead and reset his movement. Savage Rampage is almost done, too. Probably should have fought that one, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Oh, we can, uh, recruit him in. Sorry. Man, it takes two turns. I'd rather recruit that on someone else and give it over to him if I was doing that. Yeah, that kind of sucks. All the Minotaur two turns. They're really good, of course, but. Oh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and get his building max level. Malagor, um... Yeah, I might try out those Zangor things. Downside is it takes so much dread to get more of them. I'd rather spend that on other things at the moment. Oh, we're ready for another Lord. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, is it's the next tier two. All right, uh, another Lord. Morgur or Kazrak? I think I want to go with Morgur. Morgur, uh, he has stuff that buffs, like, the Chaos-type units, right? I think. And he also has a Mortis engine effect, I believe, which, if anyone doesn't know, it's basically just AoE damage around him. So you can get him tanky and throw him in the middle. He has the Jabber Slice, too. Yeah, I, aren't they Chaos? He has the Chaos Spawn and Jabber Slice, right? He's almost immune to range damage. I wonder if he's still alive. Find out. Let's get the moon event next turn. Oh, it's yeah. Okay. More leadership. Ink onto it. His herdstone's still up, but he's dead. I think he only got to level ten. Oh, he also only stays down for a single turn too, right? Or he might, or he has something in his, um, yeah, it's one of his things. He, he only stays down for a single turn. There we go. Rating stance is upgraded to the spoiled rating stance, which spreads corruption and attrition. Passability, aura of the vile transmutation. Passability causes damage to components nearby. Immune to aethal lore and attrition, so in the woods over there. Will always remain wounded for no more than one turn. I wonder if that works for respecking him. We might be trying that out. Cast on divided corruption increase, spell resist 20%. Depending on what they spent his points on, I suppose. Uh, charge bonus, armor... Yeah, let's go this route. And we'll wait on that. Okay, we're good. There's just one more legendary lord to collect, and then we'll have all four Pokemon. Uh, and then we just level them up and head on to the Elite Four. The most... The thing I'm most interested in... Holy crap. Oh, he gets extra movement speed or uh, distance. The thing I'm most interested in seeing in this run right now is if Malekith, Malekith comes all the way across the planet to us. Wolfric is. Well, he's not that far away, though. Gotta catch them all. Mordgur is ready. Oh crap, I gotta start fighting some of these because we're getting auto resolve um, our hero down really low. Vampire Slayer. What does he have? All trash, too. 
Marienburg, tier three settlement. Yeah, we could smash that one. Uh, let's put in our points and we'll just smash that one. More ambush chance. Let's go health here. Um, missile resist on that hero. You just keep raiding over there. Just keep on raiding. By all that I hold dear. I don't think it would give us a good resolve with this, even if we ambush. We can also replace this guy with Morgur. I need to see what he, uh, what they spent his points on. Do I summon him elsewhere or just replace him? I think I'm just going to replace this. If he dies, he's only down for a turn, so. Character cannot be recruited here. They must be recruited from a valid location. Does this work? Nope. All right. Yep. Never mind on that one. Oh, because uh, what's his face was um, was still alive. We're over army cap too. Maybe that's what's screwing with it. Uh, you know what? Let's just perform this ritual. Unlock the new army slot. I'll see if that's what was going on. Although it did say location. Need more girl up, not this guy. Um, crap. How much is it to get another army? I know you can. Fifteen hundred. Uh, do we care about the, well, he's level six, right? So if I was going to get rid of an army. I'd get rid of the level one one over there. It is raising a lot of money. Not really very important. Otherwise we can get rid of his spearmen with shields so that someone else can have them. Cause it's a unit limit thing. But yeah, I don't really need this army. I don't want to really donate it though. Let's see what it shows. Uh, I'm busy making bank. He doesn't have any items on him. Let's see what it shows, I guess. Close defeat. So let's use this army, even if it loses, and try to weaken this one so maybe the herdstone can take it out. I, mean, I don't care if this dies at all. What am I going to do if he wins, though? If we win. Then I'll be tempted to keep him. I'll just dismiss him, I guess. Get Morgur. Maybe we can, uh... Get enough movement to get over to the Herdstone. I don't know. Hang on this one. Uh, sure, I'll set one up. I think this is probably a defeat, but sure. Here you go. Especially since I'm mainly here just to uh, try to weaken some of their units. 20 units are important. His Pegasus Knights that he still has, I believe I saw some. Those are the, yeah, these ones are the most important to take out. He can't remake those. I don't think he can make the Knights right now either, actually, but Pegasus Knights are a tier, uh, tier 4 or tier 5 unit. And he doesn't have a very high, he has like one settlement that's not very high. Tarks is a fun lord, he is, yeah. So, yeah, we're probably going to lose to this one, but our goal is to take out those, uh, 
Exodus Knights if we can. I'm gonna set this up too crazy. I won't take too much time on it. Since this is a army we're kinda semi throwing away here. Let's see there. How's Tarx level one? Tarx is not level one. This is just some trash army that we recruited. We're throwing into Yeah, this is uh I don't know. Tarx is like almost level thirty. Favorite faction, who is your favorite legendary lord? I like a lot of them, yeah. It's. I can tell you some of the ones I've had the most fun with recently uh, that were surprising to me. So, I really had a lot of fun with uh, Silostra, which I was really surprised by. Tarox is, so, is a crap load of fun too. One of my favorites to play as. I was really surprised with uh, with Silostra though. Um, we also have a lot of fun with recently. Nakari was really fun. It was a really fun playthrough had to name a favorite man i don't know every like i keep going back and forth of, over a lot of them i really like playing skaven it is one of the most fun as well yeah, i don't know it's sign of a good game probably or at least a game that i really enjoy when i'm like man i like everyone i like everyone yeah strange land Yeah, Tarox, I think, is almost level 30 now. I think he's 28 or 29. We're just trying to uh, sacrifice this level 1 trash army, so... Because I have limited army slots right now. And get a little bit done with it while we're doing so. Love Ikit. Ikit is super fun. Dropping nukes on people. <laughs> I said, no wonder those dictators do that. Lewin's gonna wreck that guy. There's the Pegasus Knights. That's all that we really care about killing, honestly. Already flying. Can we lock them in combat? Land! Yeah, I don't care about the combat. I don't care about this battle at all. We might can pull through and and win a bit, but all I'm trying to get rid of this lord. I know I could just dismiss him, but in the meantime, I was uh, wanting to get rid of some Pegasus Knights. So you can't remake them right now. They're getting kind of low. Uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. This is our first loss in the entire campaign. I could have went through trying to get no losses for the whole campaign. But I just threw that away. Oh, well. Oh, well. so close hey we got him okay that's all we cared about now we can actually raise a morger army mm, this level one lord can go to sleep don't blame you saying screw it yeah exactly level one that we just recruited to protect that herd stone for like one turn three or four turns ago it's like i don't care about it at all but uh yeah taking out the pegasus knights that's all we really cared about 
And we get dread no matter what. Fiction outcome. Lost, there we go. 90 dread. We are no, not fuggled. Why are you still alive? He's level two now. Yeah, I'm just gonna dismiss him. Um. Jumbo. Don't know that we'll ever. Use Wait, what was his? Uh, his is just tough. Yeah, I don't care. We can't replace him with Morger, so. Do we let him come this way and wipe the army out next turn? And then recruit Morger? Maybe. You got the outcome you desired? Yeah, yeah, he can't recruit anymore though, so he'll be much easier to take care of with real armies. Right now, he can only recruit minute arms and spear minute arms. Yeah, okay. That works. That will draw him towards Tarox. Uh, here, we're just getting the money. Malagor. We want to get the Gorgon on you. And then Malagor, I guess we're just going to, um... Go down here and get some, uh... Some dread, but also some Marks of Ruination. Uh, so we're gonna use the beast paths to get over here. Yeah, we're not repairing your building, sorry. Don't care about that right now either. Who are you? Oh, you're that. Yeah, that one. This is so friggin' weird about Mazdawundi. I gotta remember this. I've never accepted one of those uh, demands like that. Couple thousand hours in Total Warhammer, and every single time someone's demanded money or else go to war, I've always gone to war. Oh crap, I was gonna go to Marienburg with uh, Tarox. Whoops. No, hello. hey! <laughs> Um. Yeah. Give me the dread. I don't care. Because there's another big army right here, too. So if I spend a bunch of effort trying to kill a few things there. Even if I, even if I win, it doesn't matter. We just get the same dread. It's just a, a tier one herdstone. That, on the other hand, we need to deal with. Oh, uh, Astankia is gone, apparently. Alright, Tarox. We have eight marks. I'm thinking... Because we're at war, we can't go through, and if we destroy that, it's gonna kick us back pretty far. So I'm thinking we actually use the beast paths, come to this side, reset our movement, and then blow up Grungzint and Marienburg. And then if we have enough movement, we could also run into these armies. Depending on uh, how Tarox is looking after all that. Seems all right. I wouldn't mind replacing that Brace Shaman. Uh, eight marks. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Shame. Oh, wait, we're not in a rampage at the moment. No. Oh, Christ. Yes, that's 
No, no, it's we are in a rampage. Oh, you can't reset after beast path. Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Well, probably gonna have to fight Wolfric next turn then. Oh well. I want to get rid of this friggin' army. So I need to start getting Morgur. Maybe we do it like we did before and try to get so rid of something here that will help Tarox. Yeah, it's fun. Oh no. I could cheese this and kill him. <laughs> this is this is where we decide whether to do some cheese in this run or not. Last time we did accidental cheese, this would be on purpose. I love war, I love cheese. Just cheese it. She's always good. Cheese is good. <laughs> Some apple quick. You don't want the other loss anyway. All right, we'll see. We'll see if it'll let us cheese it. Usually don't do very much cheese during these campaigns. Well, you are playing as cows. Cows produce milk. These ones don't. Don't try to get milk from these ones. Like the fun cheese, the broken, it's, it's broken cheese. Yeah, it's broken cheese. I'll show you for anyone that doesn't know. So basically, a couple of things has to happen for this for you to be able to do this. One, they have to be in March stance, and then you have to get an ambush. So we just happen to do a low percent ambush attack with, because the beastmen have ambush attacks stance, while Wolfric was in March stance. By now, they're cheese intolerant. You don't have an extreme reaction to it. You only get tired or something. Take some of those, one of those tests or whatever. Let's run it. He knows we're here. We're not hidden enough. <laughs> so we're, we're lost. Um, I thought I hid it all the way. Anyway, if you do this and you hide your army completely, they'll just go to the, uh, the evacuation point. And then you just win and they lose their entire army. We've done it once this time on it on accident. Apparently we weren't hidden enough. What who could have seen this? I don't understand. How does he see this? Sometimes they won't flee if they have a huge battle um lead either. Consider hidden and same with chariot. We started the battle, they were hidden, so you don't know. Yeah, it might be what Vegemite was saying. They might have had such a um balance, a power imbalance thing that they went looking for us anyway. That wind spell, yeah. <laughs> 211 killed with that wind spell, and then Wolfric killed another 108 with another spell. Alright, can we donate this army? No, I don't want to. God. Just 
Alright. For Christ's sake. Good. Now. Now I should be... There we go. Alright, let's see what the AI did with uh, Morgur here. Movement, that's good. Uh, they buffed chariots with Morgur. I don't think I would go that route. Melee attack. Melee attack. Speed for all units of the army. Vigor loss reduction. Missile resist. Man Bane over Rune of the True Beast, which is uh, melee attack and weapon strength. I would have probably chosen the slug skin on him. So we now have the option to respec, and I'm wondering if he will be only down for one turn. Yeah, that's why I'm... I think I'm going to test that. Because... He'll be wounded from three, for three turns due to the new mechanic, but I'm wondering if that's reduced with uh, things like his special. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's test it out. Morgur. Oh, hey, look. He has the Staff of Ruinous Corruption. Nice. It says three turns. It says three turns on here. We'll see you next turn, I guess. Maybe you can't cheese that either. All right, you getting that money? Um. I wish I had remembered that about the um, the beast paths not allowing you to reset movement. I completely forgot all about that. Uh, Winds of magic, powers are plus 10, all armies, miscast, space chance, minus 25. Yeah, we'll grab that. What else do we have down here? Summon 10 units in battles. We're currently at 8. Spell number of use plus 2. So we can summon more Psygore after that, basically, right now. Um, and then that one's a hero outside of army thing, which we don't really care too much about. Okay. All right, well, let's see if we have some trouble with Tarox this turn. Over this. I would be stunned if Lewin attacks into this. Wolfric might not either, actually. The AI is pretty cowardly if you have stronger army than them in Warhammer 3. Way more so than Warhammer 2. Have you ever done an Arcan the Black? Uh, this is total... I've never done any This Is Total War campaigns. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. For anyone that doesn't know what that means, you basically uh, declare war on, on everyone. Anytime a faction pops up where you can actually see them in the diplomacy or whatever, you declare war on everyone. Um, immediately. No, I've never done one of those. Not yet, not yet. All right, uh, let's blow up Grung Zint. We need to fight this even though it's decisive low because we can't afford our Bray Shaman getting hurt more. Uh, okay, we could literally just do this with Tarox and the Bulls, so I think I'm going to do that. So hard, but so fun, challenge. Yeah, I, I would like to do that sometime. Definitely seems like some characters would have a much easier time with it. Like Tarok seems like he would have one of the easiest ones, right? Because we don't um we don't have to protect anything. We just and he gets bonuses the more battles he's been through, so. And there's a lot of factions where it's probably impossible to do one of those campaigns. All right, um, let's make sure you don't take any damage. Chaos How are you looking? How are you looking?
Orion seems like he'd be really good for it. Yeah, because uh, he gets... Uh, what is it? Um, upkeep reduction per, per war he's in, right? So you basically have, like, no upkeep if you're in enough wars. Yeah. <laughs> you probably have to move out of the forest, though, right? You probably need to move out of there. Maybe. Or you just set up armies in the entrances. But you'd have all those, like, dwarves and stuff doing the friggin' underpat underways into the forest. Yeah, I don't know. Do the confederate quest, like, super fast. Yeah. <laughs> Do I want to fight them in battle? Definitely not. Definitely not. Hey, look, it's anti large. We're large. Let's see how that works out for them. I shouldn't use that right there, actually. Sack, group sack, is always thing. I heard. Minor settlement, right? So we should get full experience, I think. Just without having to go kill them. Maybe not. It doesn't show them dead here. Hmm. Beast Man units is definitely the Saigor. They just launched those big rocks. Yeah. <laughs> what an artillery. You got like people with cannons and like things that throw giant magical skulls and missiles, and then you got big guy throws rocks. It's actually pretty good. I mean, let's be honest, the grudge thrower, basically the same thing. Come on. All right, so in Tarox, he's level 30. We're going to pick up Mentor. Mentor is something I really like in Warhammer 3. It makes it so that Tarox is going to start sharing uh, experience through uh, our two other active lords. Another reason we really need to get all of the lords up. What's going on, Wolfric? You coming down here? Don't worry, I'll be back over there soon. I wasn't worried, but now I am. Uh, extra... You know what? Let's get extra damage on these now. I think they're pretty tanky. That's what I was thinking during that. I was like, you know what? We're not killing fast enough. All right, let's fight again. I think Tarox mentors people. <laughs> Headbutts. I actually that would just kill them. Maybe he's like really nice. Maybe he has like little tea parties and stuff. With little little teacups in his in his pinky up. I don't know, he doesn't have pinkies. He does he does. Yeah. He doesn't have hooves on his front hands or on his front legs. 
some reason. Because he's a minotaur, he's not a bull. Oh, right. Uh... What? What a doofus. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Took me a minute on the name because it's all lowercase. So I was like, am I reading this correctly? All right. Is Tarox a wall? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. He's very supportive. Big boys are often the nicest after all. All right, they're vampires. They don't have range. I don't want you to take any damage, you just get off the field. What we have? Leadership reduction. Casting the spell actually make the cooldown longer? I'm not sure. Kind of looked like it. Does makes it take longer recharge yeah it might not be worth over uh overcharging that spell during things like this probably don't even need that honestly Yeah, it's actually pretty significant. It was like eight, eight seconds longer or something. Cause it's damage caster, not uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, miscast, miscast, yeah. We have a pretty heavily reduced miscast chance at the moment, but yeah, there's always had to keep in mind. So, for anyone that does end up picking this up and wondering when you see something called miscasting, that's that's what that is. You have your caster damage themselves. The spell still goes off, but you take damage. Oh, I didn't realize puppies actually went all the way through. Doesn't matter. That's one of the units that we're just we were just using to get rid of gates. 
So I'll probably uh, stop using them before too long anyway. They're about to win. Two more damage, but longer cooldown and more wins. Yeah. Yeah, each spell has a different thing that overcasting them does. Like, um, even the benef beneficial spells have some overcast uh, bonuses, but... When I stream end, uh, it's supposed to end at 5, unless... What do you what do you want? I was in like ten minutes, so probably after a turn or two more. Raise and advance. That works for you. Okay. Look at that Grom's still alive. Way to go, Grom. Way to go. We still have ten marks. Hmm. Sanu just found him and enjoying the stream. Uh, I do have a schedule. It's generally Wednesday through Sunday. So if you're looking at Total War stuff mainly, uh, Total War right now is a split stream. So I'll do that for the last half of the stream. So what that ends up being is generally about like 2 p.m. Eastern until about 5. Uh, the best place though is if is Discord. I, just, I update Discord every week, so if you do use Discord, we have a really active Discord, too, so feel free to hang out in there and chat if you want, or if you just want to use it for the schedule or whatever. Uh, Exclamation Discord will tell, will get you there. But yeah, generally I stream Wednesday through Sunday from about 10 a.m. Eastern to about 5 p.m. Eastern. Which tower actually make the turn last a long time? Yeah, they uh, they got nerfed, so you can't have, like, an endless turn, but still, if you get this Savage... Oh, Savage Rampage there. Uh, it reduces it to two tokens instead of one now. But... Yeah, there's the Discord. I'm trying to think if it's worth me spending a token to get him back around here. Because Wolfric is coming for the uh, Herdstone. He can't reach it next turn. So I don't know that I need to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and save them. We'll get some... Um, Regeneration. Um. Is there one of these that reduces um recruitment time for the beastmen? I can't remember. A lot of factions have like temporary things that reduce recruitment time, but I don't think there is one for uh, Minotaur. See. Dread gain X just free boost to dread per turn. We'll do that. We are so close to being able to get the next legendary lord. Um twelve hundred. How long do I have, plan on being on today? Probably just like a turn more. So probably turn thirty one, so however long that turn lasts. I'm honestly, probably going to be like 15 minutes, maybe. But not too much longer. Man, Malagor can reach that. I feel like we might as well. We want the dread, right? So... victory. I guess we have to fight it. It might just be this turn, actually. All right. All right, wagers coming up. There you go. If you'd like to wager your fake channel points, they're real fake channel points on Twitch. You can do so now. If you don't see the pop up. You can click silver down below chat. This is not a settlement battle. Uh, they do. Oh, man, we only have 20 wins of magic. I keep forgetting about that. That actually uh, changes it a little bit. I think we will probably still be okay, but only 20 wins of magic. We don't have a lot of casts. Yeah, we'll still try it, though. What does Pyrrhic get rid of? That will try. When I start doing Total War Warhammer 3 campaigns again, Friday. 
Friday. So if you want to see the first part of this one, it's up in 4K on YouTube on the live tab. So if you go to my YouTube channel and you click on live, you'll see Tarox part one from Friday. About three hours long, I think. And this one will probably be around that too. A lot of hotkeys. Uh, all right. So what do we want to do? Um, with Savage Orcs. We want to get the dogs and the harpies on the arrow boys, but they're probably going to stay pretty tight with the melee for a little while. The big ends are probably going to be a problem. Boar rider is going to be annoying. Uh, we are not going to have a lot of casts. So Flock of Doom, we're going to be able to cast it four times. I think we'll reserve everything for Flock of Doom. We're on the offensive too, so they don't have to come to us. Let me show you guys the Gorgon and the Jabber Slice, by the way, for anyone that hasn't seen these units. They are pretty awesome. These are uh, high tier units for the Beastman. Here's the Gorgon. I really like the Gorgon. More Cowbell. <laughs> They're really good, too. And Gorgons are pretty, pretty crazy. And then the Jabber Slice. And all the models in this game are so, uh, so nice. Yeah, that wouldn't be my first word. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, we got Malagor to move up to Gorbel. Guys. So the Feral Manticores are, are pretty good, but they uh, enrage. And when they're enraged, you can't control them. So you can't pull them away from combat, which can potentially be bad. That cow looks like a Skaven agent. Yeah, he does. Uh, I think when we get to Skaven, I'm going to play um, uh, Clan Mold. Is it Clan Molder? I haven't played that DLC of Skaven. I played a lot of Skaven, but still haven't played that, where you do the genetic mutations and stuff. Seems like it'd be really fun. Monsters. You want to boop the snoots of them? <laughs> I'm not sure you'd survive very long in the Warhammer universe. Let's be honest, no one would. I say that like I would survive more than a day. Am I going in order? I'm going in order from front to back, yeah. So we're starting with Beastman. Next will be Bretonia. I've actually never done a Bretonia campaign, so... I think that'll be kind of interesting. be the best servitor you could be just hoping hoping problem with it with it too i mean one of the problems is you're not even safe in death right so if it's like oh man i'll just hope for a quick death and be done with it well sorry to tell you Not how it works in this one. You guys want to come donate some of that cab? That's fine. What are they doing? Uh, winds of magic are built up as high as it. Gets. We need them to be clumped for it, though. So... Algar, let's bring you over there so you can give them some uh, leadership bonus, too.
Oh my god, I didn't move the giant somehow. I thought I had him hotkeyed. Power recharge. Okay. okay, let's put these up. Uh, puppies, make sure those don't recover. Bring you guys back. Just keep protecting those. I really forgot about the freaking giant. Okay, those ones aren't coming back. Skull means they won't come back. Uh, the white flag means that they can still cover a little bit. Let's get you out of there. Change that quite enough. I think the Gorgons are anti infantry right? Just send you back here. Don't get caught. Okay, those ones aren't recovering. Those are good. We can bring you guys over here now. How many of the games they've made them? Love universe, but you haven't. Yeah, I, re I really enjoy this one. I've, I haven't played anything else really. Actually, this uh, series what got me into anything Warhammer. Uh, I did play Vermin, the first Vermin Tide a little bit. My wife and I like playing that together. Friendly fire, you guys can stay back. Got to win anyway. You played a game of this genre, I did like Vermintide 2. No, your friends, they did. Yeah, I've heard good things about Vermintide 2, and then I've heard mixed things about uh, which one is it? Dark Tide. Uh, never play. No, no, this is this series also is the first Total Wars I played. Um, I played other ones since, but I uh, have not played that. Bully the orc. Bully the orc. That's good. You die in less than an hour if you're in it. Boop the wrong snoot. Yeah. Our tide did not feel as good a setting for you. Probably just preference. Like 40k universe, it's more for factions and like the whole setting. I got gotcha. you. Battle sector, what kind of game is battle sector. I recommend it. It still stands up. Giant wants an action. Yeah, sorry, giant. <laughs> sorry. Top knots destroyed. We're at 1169. Oh my lord, we're so close. So close. Yet so far. Yeah, 
So to recruit that new army, we're actually going to need another army slot. How close are we? As Morgur is gonna come back in two turns. Yeah, we're gonna need another slot. Maybe we finally get rid of this guy. All right, if if he if he doesn't die and he gets some dread, great. You know, whatever. For now. Are you guys at war with Marathi? No. What's the win condition? So for this faction, each of the factions have. Uh, I'll show. I'll show and go over a little bit. For anyone that doesn't know, you have a short campaign victory, which I typically say is like the Lord's campaign victory, your legendary Lord. It's usually something minor. For this faction, it's like literally just destroy a bunch of stuff. And then long campaign victory is usually usually your faction's victory, for most of them anyway. Um, and this one, we basically have to destroy the Empire, Bretonia. We have to put a Herdstone in the Oak of Ages. Uh, or conquer the Oak of Ages, so. Um, it seems like the AI has been taking out a lot of the Empire, so it might be a little, uh, a little lackluster when we get there. But yeah, our goal is to take out the, the humans, pretty much. And the Wood Elves. But money. You like money, right? Yes. I've been known to be fond of money. Marathi is strength rate seven. Not. Really enjoy money, you and you recommend it to all your friends. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. It's just I just like it. Uh, we can get some more dread per turn. Hey, twelve hundred. We did it. We did it. Maybe by some miracle he's alive. If we do this and Kazrak is is already alive with AI, we get him even if it's past army cap. Kazrak has a pretty not great starting location for the AI, though. All right, let's see. We've collected all the Pokemon. Kazrak. Kazrak. Yeah, he's not there. <laughs> he starts up here, right? Yeah, he starts like here or something. He's not there. All right, let's see how long he's going to be dead for, though. Oh, he's ready now. Level 10. Let's see what they did to him, though. Did the AI screw him over with what they put their points in? Movement is good. Post-battle income is fine. Uh, melee attack. I don't think he's that good of a melee fighter in general, right? But this is fine. This chariot. He's all about the cycle charging. Fuel by blood is okay overall, like in the long run. It shows his defensive one. That's fine. I don't know if I want to injure him for three turns to unspec voice of the dark gods, honestly. Probably not. Gone Pontifex, welcome in. Probably not. Hmm. Well, they had his, uh... They have his Scourge weapon, which is nice. Ever played Path of Exile? Yes, yeah, I've played Path of Exile a lot. Um... I'll probably wait until Path of Exile 2 comes out before I play it again, even with new um, new seasons and whatnot. Um, I know that might be like a year or two wait, but... 
It's fine. Yeah, I don't know why the hours haven't gone up. And the bot's up to date. Everything is up to date. It's connected. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. it sucks too, because I know a lot of people have spent like years building up hours. I don't know why. Not sure what else to do about it. Yeah, see? Weird. Don't know. This is your VODs. June for the beta. June's for the beta. Uh, do I have Path of Exile stuff in the VODs? No, I don't. Yeah. I did stream it, but uh, I didn't save VODs back then. All right, so Kazrak. What are we going to do after that? I think we should probably start working either on unit caps or upgrades after that. Uh, probably unit caps. So Kazrak, reduce range penalties and detection chance when in hidden encampment. Vanguard deployment for Bestigor. One for Razor of Chariots, enable poison attack. Uh, yeah, so he's like the Bestigor guy. Bestigor guy. We don't have any of that yet. So we'll just grab other stuff with him. I hope. Mm. How many do we need for this? 150. That only gives us four there. That's not a big deal. I don't think they're going to be able to come blow that up in time, though, so I don't, I don't think it matters. Uh, she's probably just going to come take this out. So we'll save the money there, too. It's probably our last turn for today. Unless we get attacked over the end turn. Uh, yeah, thank you, BK. Be afraid of your zero hours. It counted for you today. So it is counting for some people today. Wow. That hidden encampment stance is so good. Oh, we're probably going to lose that herdstone. What? Uh... All right. Thanks. Not counting for you, though. Yeah, I see. And I really want to play more, but uh, I need to. The Enchantress is gone. Uh, Must have been Grom, right? Anyway, I really want to play more, having fun, but I need to get off here. So we will wrap it up for today and we'll continue this on the next uh, the next split stream. So uh, again, if you didn't catch the first part of the uh, Tarox Beastman Legendary Mortal Empires campaign thing, you can go to the YouTube channel and just click on the live tab. So that's where all this is going in the live tab. A lot of people don't know about that tab still. But you have to go to the channel and then right above like where all the videos and stuff is uh, are. There's a there's different like tabs and the live tab has these in it. This is also up immediately. So the good thing about streaming this to YouTube as well. One of the good things is that it's immediately live and it's in 4K on YouTube as well. Remember to make that guide you mentioned. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Before I use that kill setup. Yeah, I should do that. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me save this before I'm enticed to do any more. We're not save, but exit. So. It's fun, though. It's fun. We uh, we did. Quite a bit on the Mechanator. Less got done on the Mechanator run than I wanted today. And the Beastman Tarox campaign is going crazy well, of course. Gonna be in Orlando till next Monday. Which internet better be on point this trip? Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, thank you again. I'm gonna go ahead and close the stream on that end. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know it's not as popular, nowhere near as popular as Rimworld on my stream, but it is fun and it keeps me sane and not burned out from Rimworld.